What's up, y'all? So she cheated on her fiance the day before their wedding with the best man. And I'm not going to lie, that's trifling as hell. Okay. Um, we about to get into this video. I don't know what made her cheat with the best man. You know, people just ain't loyal. These hoes ain't Laura. Okay. Um, let's get into this video, man. Grab your snacks and all that other stuff. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell you leak? So, she cheated on her fiance. I already read the title, actually. Let's get into it. Completely different, Your Honor. Yes, we were at this wedding. Everyone was very drunk. I went with my best friend to the hot tub at the hotel, and, like, it got a little bit crazy. We started making out. His best man, his best friend, came in, and I probably should have, like, not let that happen but it was just like a it wasn't that big of a deal it was just a silly like drunken like being silly in a hot tub he showed up and went completely crazy she not kidding some of these people just lack morale you know what i'm saying mm -mm. See, people I different apologize. I, I don't think it was something to call a wedding off of. Javon, uh, I understand you are suing to get an engagement ring back that you gave this young lady over here correct okay Explain. It's not so much about the money, you know. It's more about the sentimental value that the ring holds to me. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandfather. No, he want his money back. <laughs> father actually gave that to my grandma, so it's oh. very near and dear to my heart. You know what okay. I mean? I have. Can y'all run an ad for me, please? The, the ring actually appraised at twelve five. So. Wow, must be beautiful. So explain to me what happened. About a month before our actual wedding, um, one of our friends had a wedding that we went to. We have, you know, very tight knit friends. At the party. I was thinking the same shit, Sean Don. This shit fake as hell. Cause he fine and he, yeah, it's not. And she, <laughs> she ain't giving. You know the drinks were flowing. We we're having a great time, and I noticed she was missing. So, went around looking for her, and I actually walked in on Cynthia with another man and another woman. But it wasn't just any man and woman. It was actually my best man and her maid of honor. So I imagine you were shocked. Completely. Okay, and what happened? Damn. After? So, you know, I kind of thought in my head, maybe we could work it out. This really? Is what are we working out? First of all, I just spent all this money on this damn wedding. That is number one. I uh, spent all this money on this damn wedding, okay? Get you this ring that's worth 12 five. all right? And you in the hot tub with the best man and the maid of honor? No, oh, it's a three-way. Yeah. You know, okay. I, I do love so her. So you youth wanted no, to work No, he started screaming, <laughs> screaming, and went crazy. Blaze, you wouldn't even make the damn ads on time. Screaming? <laughs> yes, he went crazy. crazy. It was yeah, let me, let me make you an editor. Making it seem like it's a way bigger thing than it was. Oh, my goodness. What did he do? Tell me. Well, it was completely different, Your Honor. Yes, we were at this wedding. Everyone was very drunk. I went with my best friend to the hot tub at the hotel, and, like, it got a little bit crazy. We started making out. His best man, his best friend, came in. And I probably should have, like, not let that happen. But it was just, like, a, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just a silly... All right, y'all. I made her editor. Can y'all tell her how to, how to do ads? <laughs> like, drunken... Like, and somebody run an ad, please. He showed up and went completely crazy. I apologize. I... I I don't think it was something to call a wedding off over. You're, I understand that he was upset. Excuse me, I understand I you were upset, but I don't see why he had to call off the whole wedding. I didn't want to call off the wedding. How did you react or how did you... How would you mean you didn't want to call off the wedding? You wasn't the one in there giving sloppy toppies and tongues to other people. How did you feel when you saw your fiance <sighs> and he walked in on you with your friend and his best friend? Your Honor, I was surprised that he was so angry because everyone was so drunk and just, I, I didn't think that it was that big of a deal. So you don't no, think, I think the alcohol is an excuse. On I don't, I mean, it, it was just making out. I didn't even really think it was cheating. At a wedding when <laughs> everyone's drunk? I mean, I don't, I don't even have a good comeback for that one. Mm -mm. No rebuttal. <laughs> you can't. It's not common. Matter, the common ain't there. The math ain't mathing. The logistics are not logisticking. You know what I'm saying? Logisticking. Okay. I really don't. I'm usually really quick and I can, I, I just don't, I, I don't, I'm speechless for once. I mean, that was about <laughs> it. After that, um, you know, I told her she had to leave. I he did. gave me like, he said you have to be out in like three days. Oh, I've I wouldn't, I wouldn't have given three. you three days. You're lucky you got three days. Thank but you. anyway, okay. so, uh, so, it, so you had her move out. Correct. Get um, out. And you know, like I did a little bit of investigating and afterwards, 
Um, I have a question for you. Before you tell me, because I know the witness is here. So you broke up with her. Right. You gave her three days to leave the right. apartment. Did she leave reluctantly, or was she like, whatever, I'm Oh, leaving. yeah, no, she just picked up and left. There was nothing to her. I thought that maybe if you had a little bit of time to cool off and let this blow over, that it would be, that it would be okay, and we can okay. talk about this and work it out. All right, did you ask for the ring back? <laughs> yes. Out. And she said no. Correct. Very Your Honor, in the state well. of California, the law states that this is an unconditional gift. Okay. So I'm entitled to the ring. Did you think it was morally appropriate for you to keep that ring? I did. Why? I was heartbroken. Why Your do you Honor, deserve that ring? Because I'm still ready to get married. It was but given he to me. doesn't want to marry you. It was given to me as a- Honey, the math isn't mathing. Uh, Clearly, you wasn't ready to get married to him. You was ready to have a three-way. God, I just don't know why. I was that. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> some people should just go. You know what I'm saying? Listen, lady, go ahead and go with them people. Give my ring back. Why are you trying to hold on? You know what I'm saying? Hold on to something that's sentimental to me. Clearly, it was not sentimental to you. That don't even make sense. Yes, and I... Accepting to you gift. as a gift that you were going to be faithful and you were going to honor him for the right. rest of your life. I'm still Morals. ready to, to make that. Girl, moment. get your it's ass is. out so of my place. How many times did you try asking for it back? So many. I reached out to her via email, um, sent her text messages. She would even Not say he sorry. got the bag to get the ring back. Thinking it's mine. Nothing. I, the state of California, I wouldn't it's wish fine. she would even said that. I got no response. It's the fact that she really <laughs> arguing her bad right. case for me and that still is. Tried, you were really trying to work things out, weren't you? Yes, I wanted him to cool off. How long How long did you try it's to the get the cool the off for no, me? No, I mean, up until just about now. It was about three months ago, Your Honor. So no response for three Nothing. months? Nothing. Nothing, okay. Your Honor. All right, so then you find this uh, friend that you have in common or mutual on your online personal accounts Correct. and what happened? So <laughs> Listen, lady. Vincent, Listen, Linda. So I went up into a little search thing and found his name. Um, and I remember his profile picture, so I pulled it up. Wait a minute, girl. Bye. No, you ain't let that man go and be great. He might as well take that L and go. I agree with that, too. But, nah, if I could fight to get my ring back, I'm going to get that ring back. Especially if it's worth twelve five. Run me my ring. TT, you got the bliss tag? Huh, honey, so? Oh, okay. Uh, when I looked at him and I just said, it's hey, you know, over I'm just a little curious. Like, how do you know Cynthia Bennett? And, oh, you know, it definitely struck a nerve. You know, I asked him, I said, hey, would you be opposed to going and grabbing a drink? Let's just go down to the bar and grab a drink hey. and talk about this. You know, it's a little bit more personal. So me and Adam I'm coming for my ring. had a drink. Um, and, I mean, that was just the last straw. That's when mm -hmm. I decided that. Adam, why don't you court. stand up and tell me? Do you know the witness, Miss Bennett? <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I do. You do. Okay. Hello, yes. Your you Honor. intimately know the witness. Yeah, I can't believe that he's here today. This is. Yeah, I bet you can't. Yes. Wait a. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, y'all. Not the best man is the witness. Yeah, is the best man to witness? Okay. Okay. Yeah. From right. several so, years ago, I know so, the witness. So, uh, Mr. Vincent, why don't you tell me what you shared with Mr. Vaughn? Um, well, so Cynthia is my former, you know, and fiance. Oh, um, fiance, you were this, engaged? Yeah, we were engaged as well, seven years ago. You know, okay. so this is far, far back. We met in our mid-20s. Um, Great time. She's a great girl, you know, likes to party. She's very spoiled. You know, I, I spent a lot of money on her. Um, we traveled, you know, uh, of course, you know, I eventually, like I said. What? This the. <clears throat> Nigga. You. <laughs> you teamed up with. with my ex fiance no that ain't some nigga shit this is this is the weirdo shit that people doing bruh not even nigga shit this this is this is weirdo shit that people be doing yeah, you know i proposed to her um she accepted the proposal uh, we were getting ready for our marriage <laughs> um, i'm a finance banker you know um work long hours long shifts how do you get these guys um, what is it about you get these two good looking professional guys? Uh, yeah, okay, tell me about go it. ahead. But, um, not hot. looked at look like <laughs> I mean they're hot, but damn, I'm hot too. That's how she looked. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm confused too, him. So but, then um, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> he said
said I'm confused too. Y'all, she looked like her stomach could fall out. Matter of fact, she looked just like the girl whose stomach fell out. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. She looked just like the girl whose stomach fell out. No cap. You know, I come home, um, literally. <clears> her <throat> stomach can uh, fall out. My baby brother and Miss Cynthia are literally having sex in my bed. And like I said, what? It, it threw me wow. off. Wow, know? were you and drunk? Was it just a mistake? Your Honor, I was, this was seven years ago. I was like 22 years old. Oh my old. God. It was, it was a mistake. mistake. I apologize. <laughs> y'all are telling me. It's always a mistake when you, um, when you perform. So then what did she like say to you? How but, did she um, respond? I mean, once again, like I said, it was, it was such a horrible, you know, just scene. So, you know, I, I leave the house. I probably just reach out to her a couple of weeks like, hey, I just want my ring back. Then get her ring. I spent 10 grand on it. Now he wanted his ring and he spent 10 grand. This California law. I proposed to her in California. She's a California resident. Is that I'm a what California she told you? <laughs> Ma'am, I don't know what to tell you when it comes to Cynthia. Like I said, you know, that's why I'm standing here next to Mr. Bond. Coming up on. How many times have you been engaged before? Your Honor, I have been engaged twice. I, twice? I love. Well, I mean, twice that we she know. Tells you, yeah, that we I mean, know. That's what she's telling you. I mean. Your Honor, I love. <laughs> it's a good I little business. I love Adam very much. It's a I was good too young. Business you I was too young to be engaged with Adam. I loved him very much. No, I, can I see the ring? Would you mind, Renard? Can you get the ring, please? You want me to take it yeah, off? Of course, please. Oh, run me my shit. So this was your grandmother's. My ring. grandfather actually gave that <laughs> diamond. It's just the diamond. It's not. You the missed setting. it. This is a beautiful diamond. Thank Jeez. you. Jeez. Give it to Mr. Vaughn, please. It's his. It's not yours. Your Honor, how is that oh, legally wow. his? Oh, it's legally wow. his because, you know, you're very smart. And I think it's a really great little scam you have going on for yourself here. It's the donor. He gave it to me. He broke up. Therefore, I get Y'all, she took that ring and gave it to him. I knew that's what was going to happen. <clears throat> but in these no-fault states, there's also something called fraud. So it is my opinion. And listen to this. It is my opinion that you on purpose did this so you can keep the ring. So it was your actions, your unfaithfulness. That she made real smooth with it. Thank you for the bit, Nate. So therefore, he would have never broken up with you, but for the fact that you got drunk and it was no big deal and you made out with the girl and the boy and then that's it, end of story. You should be ashamed of yourself because what you're doing is that you're abusing the law and you are convincing, manipulating. I, I seriously don't know how she connived you, how she, both of you guys, are so handsome, such smart professionals. How did you let her completely fool you? Your Honor, we had a, it's wonderful, I had a wonderful relationship Sweet, with each I of I don't these think men. you wonderful. understand what wonderful is. You don't understand what a relationship is. You don't understand what anything is, okay? So based on the evidence, well, I don't have to do anything. I, I'm giving you your ring back, Thank therefore you. I'm not Damn. going to uh, you, uh, grant you the money, okay? Good Sorry. luck to you guys. Thank you, ma'am. All Girl, <laughs> Judge Perrette. did the judge rob her for the rain? <laughs> it's giving the judge robbed her for the rain, baby. I, I am convinced. The judge said, Girl, give me, let me see the rain. Let me check it out. Yeah, go ahead and get it, boy. This rain back. This lady. Bye. <laughs> Y'all done with this video. <laughs>